All right, it's time to try out another freeze-dried meal. This is one I haven't tried yet. This is a Peak Refuel freeze-dried beef pasta marinara. All right, everybody, welcome back. So today I got a real quick video for you on these Peak Refuel freeze-dried meals. These are ones I've wanted to try for a while. I have not ever had these before. And I like to give you guys options. Um, supposedly these are a little better tasting. All the meat in there is 100% real beef. There's no fillers, no TVP, nothing like that. So if you can say it, maybe they're like the gourmet option. <laughs> they're a little bit better. Um, let's check out the uh, serving size and information. You've got, now this is two servings inside of here. So 490 calories per serving. 490 calories per serving, 990 for the whole package. Now, um, if you've been out backpacking, hiking, or if you're using this in a bug out situation and you're starving, yeah, you'd probably eat the whole thing. Okay. Uh, cholesterol is 33%. Sodium, a little bit lower than normal. Is that 600, 610 grams per serving? A total of 1210. That's actually pretty decent. Uh, 29 grams carbohydrate, I'm sorry, 25 grams, dietary fiber, blah, 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 vitamin D, calcium, iron, and potassium. So it seems they have a little bit of decent nutrition in them, and they're a little bit lower in sodium. They're also non-GMO. So if you're looking for a healthier option when it comes to your freeze-dried meals, that's definitely an option to give a try to. Now we're going to cook this up and try it out. <clears throat> they are a little bit more expensive than some of your other freeze-dried entrees. They run about $12.99 for a two-pack, but they got 100% real meat, premium ingredients, no fillers, no TVP, and they are made in the USA. I believe they're made in Utah. So I'm going to get the uh, cooking stuff out, and we're going to heat up some water and give it a try. All right, for today's video, because I don't have a ton of time, no fancy exotic stoves, <laughs> just a good old cook kit and uh, my little Litex e City stove. We're going to heat this up. It takes one and one-third cup of water. And then it says, stir it, let it sit for 10 minutes, stir it again, and enjoy. So, fairly simple to do. A little bit shorter, too. I know some of the mountain houses and some of the other stuff take a long time. So, I figured I'd give you this, uh, show you this option as something that's a little bit better for you and um, a little bit quicker, too. So, I'm going to let this get to a boil, and we're going to open this up while well, I got you on camera here. There we go. Of course, I never tore it correctly. <laughs> and there's your little desiccant pack. We'll get rid of that. And there's the entree in there. And it really does look just like beef. Maybe some tomato in there. I don't know. And noodles. It does have a resealable zipper up top. You know, a little press and seal type deal. So once that comes to a boil, we're going to dump it in and uh, see how it holds up. All right. It's boiling. So, somebody uh, gave me that neat idea of doing that with the uh, ring top here. If you modify your top to get rid of the plastic, you just feed that through a little bit and it'll stand up straight and it's not hot at all. That's kind of a neat idea. Thank you to whoever that was. I did that on my video when I modified this. Now, let's dump this in here. By the way, a lot of people mentioned when I drilled holes in this kit, in this Stanley kit, for the bailing wire to hang it, you know, over a, uh, over a fire, that I shouldn't have drilled them on this side or this side because that's where I'm pouring my water. And you know, I've never had it drip out of there. I've never had any leaks through it. I don't know if it's just not big enough to leak or whatever, but it's never leaked through when I'm pouring it into something like that. Now, if I was drinking, maybe that'd be different. But just an interesting side note, just something I noticed. Let me stick this over here on the wood. So we are going to mix this up really good. And this does have gusseted pockets, so it stands up nicely. It isn't going to fall over. I'll tell you one thing. St the smell of tomato sauce is, like, overwhelming. <laughs> it does smell good. All right. So that's what it looks like all mixed up in there. Typical freezer. I'm just going in the corners here to make sure I'm getting everything. And the pockets are folded in a way that, like this here, that you won't have build up in the corners, so you don't have to dig, dig, dig in there. So, let's seal it up. If I can seal it up. I'm not very coordinated this morning. There we go. And we're going to wait 10 minutes, and uh, I'll bring you back and show you what it looks like. All right, 10 minutes has gone by. 
Um, from stirring it up before, I could tell it's doing really good. It is right on the money, so it's not like the Mountain House where if you make it with the right amount of water, it isn't runny. It's right on the, right as it should be. I'm stirring that up. Let's take some out here. Wow, that smells really good. For a freeze-dried meal, I know it's hard to convey it, but for a freeze-dried meal, that smells really, really good. Now I'm putting this in here so you can kind of see it. Somebody had mentioned before I had it in a white dish and you couldn't really see anything. So let's give you a little look at a, a spoonful of it, if I can get everything on the spoon there. The beef is what's impressed me. Because that looks pretty good. Let's see what it tastes like. Yeah, that is, that is really good. Try out some of the noodles. Yeah, honestly, if I didn't know that was a freeze-dried meal, I would think somebody just cooked that up with some stuff they had in their uh, in their backpack. It's it's really good. That's really impressive. So, basically, the deal with these is if you want a little bit of a better, a little more healthy um, option while storing food for emergencies, maybe you putting these in your bug out bag. They are fairly light. They're six point five ounces, six point three five ounces per pack. Um, they don't. They require a little less water, ten point five ounces. And um, when you prepare them, as you can tell, if you look in there, it's not a bunch of soup. You know, that's all noodles and beef. And it's not all soupy and runny. So they're right on the money as far as water goes. Um, you don't kind of have to underestimate your water that you're using. And they taste really good. I'm really impressed with them. I'm actually going to have that for lunch. So if you're looking for something that's non-GMO with really decent USDA inspected U.S. sourced food and uh, no fillers, no TVP, none of that stuff. This is a good option for you. As I said, they are a little expensive. I will put a link to these down below in my description so you can pick one of these up. Um, they have all, they have bunches of different entrees. There's breakfast, there's a ton of other options. I just got this because it looked like something I'd like. But this stuff is healthy or healthier, as healthy as a freeze dried meal could be. Very good tasting really good ingredients, and it's an option for you. And I like testing out other options. One of the things I want to do with one of my um, never coming home Rubbermaid tubs that I have that are set up is transition a lot of the food in there over to freeze dried entrees because I'm finding that I don't check that food as much and having something like these put away, you know, yes, they require water and yes, water is figured into that plan if I need to uh, take off, but, uh, it's just something I'm thinking of changing around a little bit because you put them away, you kind of set them and forget them for a good five, ten years or whatever instead of constantly having to inspect canned goods and stuff like that. So that's something I'm going to be doing with these especially because they're really good. And plus, the chances of me having to leave my house behind and never come home are fairly slim. So that just gives me more freeze-dried food put away. So, you know, that's why I like to try different options on the freeze-dried stuff. While I do sell the Thrive, and I love the Thrive stuff, this stuff comes pretty close. I'd say it's on par with it. Honestly, the, the meat in there, the, the marinara sauce, everything, that's pretty much on par with Thrive. I was really impressed with it. So if you want to give them a try, and maybe think about storing some of this in your uh, bug-out bags or for emergencies... Even something as simple as what's going on now in the, in the Midwest with all the snow. You know, you put a week's worth of food away in these, you've got yourself an emergency kit ready to go, food-wise at least. So, I'm going to put a link in the description to buy these. You can pick them up on my Amazon store. Um, and again, they have all the different types, not just these. You can buy a bunch of different types of them. Um, I'm trying to remember. I know they have a, a chicken in uh, Alfredo. I know they have a breakfast entree. They have a couple more meals like this, similar. Um, I think they have some kind of taco entree. I'm not sure. Not with a taco, but, you know, the uh, Mexican beef and all. So, anyway, give them a try. See if you like them. Um, don't forget to check out our Amazon store below that. Most of the gear that I review is in that store in one form or another. Um, if you like the stuff and you want to try it out, you can always shop there. If you don't want to buy anything in the store, just click the link and shop as you normally would. helps us out a whole lot here. And don't forget to check out our Thrive Life link. If you're looking to store longer, large term, I mean, longer, large term, our large long-term food storage come on spit it out <laughs> you can get it from there anyway guys thank you for watching stay safe and stay prepared